I'm here with Lindis Patterson Tadman, who's a civil funeral celebrant. Lindis, tell me what does a civil funeral entail and how does it differ from other types of funerals? Well, what makes a civil funeral stand out is that it focuses upon reflecting on and celebrating the life of the person who's died. We live in an increasingly secular society and so it acknowledges that there are different levels of faith and belief or an absence of it and it's very much about the person and the, in, it should be in keeping with the wishes and beliefs of the deceased and of their family. What kind of things can be included in the ceremony? It can include all the traditional things that you would expect at a funeral service. Um, it can have a eulogy or a tribute to the person who's died. It can include poetry and readings and of course playing some favourite pieces of music if you wish. Um, or it can have a, a prayer or a hymn if that's what the family feel are appropriate. Uh, the family can be involved as well or it can be solely led by the civil celebrant. Um, the family should be included if they want to be, but there's no pressure on them to, to get involved if they're not comfortable doing that. The civil celebrant will advise them and um, guide them as to what options they can have. And where would these types of ceremonies take place? It can be in many different places. Uh, mainly it tends to take place in crematoria, but it also could take place uh, somewhere such as a village hall or um, a traditional uh, graveside burial and uh, it could also take place somewhere like uh, a woodland burial site which is increasingly popular. So how would someone actually go about arranging a civil funeral? Um, usually they would contact me through a funeral director, that's their first point of contact when they're arranging funerals, but they can contact me directly as well uh, and they can also get me, uh, apart from telephone and websites, then on other websites such as the Institute of Civil Funerals. What's the most unusual request you've come across? Unusual requests, mainly to do with music choices um, and um, just little gestures that um, you know, relate closely to the person who's died. Um, they may have things on display that um, people would relate to that person and uh, just very personal things that you know, the family wants to remember. And what would you say are the typical comments after a civil funeral that you get? Um, well, you always hope that they're going to be happy with what you've done. That's the most important thing. The family should be happy with uh, the service that they've given their loved one. Um, so it's nice when they say, that was just him, he would have approved. And uh, just what we wanted. That's what you're aiming to get, because that's the most important thing. So once someone has actually contacted you, what's the process from there? Oh, well, I will arrange to meet with them at a time and place that's convenient for them, usually in their home because it's somewhere where they have to feel comfortable. And then we'll talk about the type of service they'd like to have and uh, I can explain different options to them. And then we have a really long chat about the person who's died um, because it's really important that we capture the essence of that person and make the service all about them. Why would a family come to you to ask for a civil funeral? Um, it's just what they feel is appropriate for them. They may not be, uh, they may not have a particular faith, they may not be regular churchgoers, or they may have some faith but not in keeping with a traditional religious service, um, or they may have no faith at all. Um, and it's very much a case of uh, fitting in with their wishes and beliefs. Well, thanks very much for sharing that with us, Lindis. And if you want to hear more about Lindis's services, you can visit her website at thefuneralservice.org.